qué? Uh, my name is Juan David Galindo. I'm an artist. I born in 1992. I born in Latin America. Uh, I normally work with uh, the idea of what uh, construct us like a person, like uh, what subject us, what makes us a subject. And I work normally in different media, but most in performance, video, or archive. It depends the project. Can and I live in Barcelona. Can you tell us something about the project that you did in Belgrade? Yeah, in Belgrade I do... I do different projects, but the one that I do most is about uh, utopias. I found some utopias that were in the middle of the ocean, that utopias that uh, there are tropical utopias, there are artificial islands. So I start to wonder what kind of utopias are there, uh, who are making these projects, and what means this, because uh, for me it's strange that in our time maybe there are not still these big utopias of socialism or communism but we can find these utopias of floating cities so for me this question was interesting so I start to do like a kind of accumulation of information that I found in internet on, on books on videos of this and then I make an exhibition about this yeah. So that was the party of the exhibition, and then it was included the video and uh, yeah. photos. Yeah, there was a videos, photos, uh, some kind of installation. The video was about also uh, the sea, but it was not about these utopias. It was about the another kind of sea that is the videos of beach that are in YouTube. That there, there are videos of a lot of hours. So I see that these videos for me is interesting because. It's not to be seen this all these videos. It's not it's not made by someone that wants that the video uh, be look all the hours that there is. Is these videos for me is for a mind that can't sleep because work a lot and receive a lot of stimuli. Mm -hmm. So to relax, the this mind needs. Um, a constant flow of a stimuli that is, are these videos. So for me it's interesting this, the imagine of the tropical sea that is a projection of vacation or being well. But also for me this ideal start to be connected with this uh, exploitation of the mind and also with these utopias of cities and things. So for me in this point I see like, wow, this is starting to be interesting, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and some of the photos were uh, taken by you, like some... Yeah. ...from Colombia and... Yeah, there, there were like, there were three different kind of images, because uh, one of them was like archive of real projects that I found on internet or mm -hmm. real uh, works that there exist, that... Uh, you can find in this imaginary, for example, there was one uh, website to offer a job to be one year in Mexico, in the Caribbean, to promote uh, uh, the, their hotels, the tropical hotels, and start to be an influencer in tourism. Mm -hmm. So this one, this kind of image was like a document. I just take it from the reality, maybe not reality, from internet, mm -hmm. but I take it and I sh show mm -hmm. Then it's there like was documentation. yeah the documentation. There was some image that there was like kind of something in the middle between one composition that I do. I do compositions, but with uh, photos, image that I take from Google Earth. Mm -hmm. So I go from some locations that there are some islands, some hotels, some artificial islands, and I start to do compositions and I play with the idea to put different layers mm -hmm. of, of the pictures and the other kind of uh, pictures that was in the exhibition was pictures that I take on, on, on Colombia in the, in the Pacific and in the Caribbean mm -hmm. part and there, wa there was four different kind of things for example there was one that was how the 
the government or the militaries in the tropical states uh, hide his antenna, his telecommunications. So this exhibition has this mix of different kind of image. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, you, uh, I already put on our website uh, some photos of your exhibition, but I will also link to your website oh, so great. people can see. Yeah. Like, both. I, I, I have to put it in my way, website because yeah, yeah, yeah. it is not, but will be. What about the new work that you did in this group exhibition with ah, the concrete? Yeah, this, this was this exhibition was like a workshop uh, that the idea was to in five days. Mm -hmm. make a um, art project mm -hmm. so I play with a sculpture I make I want to make like a wall that a wall of concrete that is broken mm -hmm. and is broken because it represents the relation between no and how mm -hmm. and I want to be a crack between them mm -hmm. so uh, for me it is about the relationship of knowing something and know how works this something mm -hmm. that for me somehow is broke you know i'm related with for example mobile phone but i don't know exactly how it works mm -hmm. and how is here this relation with this object with reality with technology with uh, workers is mm -hmm. it's like it's broken i don't know with the shame of the things mm -hmm. that i related Mm -hmm. So that's why that's the thing that I start makes me to make this. Mm -hmm. And why why the choice of material for concrete? Ah, okay, uh, for two reasons. That I have like one uh, conceptual mm -hmm. that is about because I like the idea of something that is uh, hard mm -hmm. that is that is using to make buildings, big mm -hmm. buildings, also is, is the material of the, um, that represents the um, architecture, the architect, the modern architecture, you know, the, mm -hmm. this, oh, I forgot the name of this movement of architecture, brutalism, that use a lot, so for me, for me, this uh, material means this. And at the same time, mm -hmm. I was like uh, one week uh, before I was uh, repair something mm -hmm. in, in one house, and then I realized like okay, I just want to experiment with this. So it's like the two intentions mm -hmm. yeah. with the idea of I just want to experiment with this material, yeah. and also the connotation of mm -hmm. this material. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Oh, perfect. Sometimes the people are afraid to these kind of questions yeah. because looks like you have to have the answer. Yeah. So for me, there are no the answer of these questions. Yeah, there yeah. are just different point of views and different processes yeah, that exactly. you are passing by. So, so that was my point. Like okay. we, you don't have to have like such a precise answer because I don't think there is right or wrong answers. I think it's useful that. Uh, some of the questions that are important for all the artists that are openly talked about and I think these kind of talks can be useful for other artists so they can feel not so alone with the struggles that everybody are facing yeah. and I think like for we're all going through the similar processes and also like uh, the struggle how to represent ourselves how to you know like um, how to sell art and things like that these are things that it's almost like a taboo that no one is talking about how hard it can be. Yeah. Like, it's supposed that, that you have to know how to do it and then like no one is actually like teaching you or discussing enough. So that's why I was like, I uh, wanted to ask you like a few questions about that, but also like to make like a small introduction, I was thinking to ask you like, what do you think like, uh, how important is your cultural background and how it's influencing your art? Yeah. Okay. Uh, for me, this question is difficult because for me, cultural background have so many uh, faces. Mm -hmm. So it can be my education, it can be the place uh, that I born, it can be my experience. Yeah, all so of it. So if I were to say something, is that of course it influenced me a lot because it defined uh, who I am mm -hmm. and how I relate with the world and with the knowledge and with myself with my body but actually I'm not interested in show my 
cultural background in a identity way or in a biography way. Mm -hmm. So I'm not interested about oh when I was ten years mm -hmm. my I have this problem so I'm like this. No, I'm not interested mm -hmm. in this. I'm more interested in something that is in me mm -hmm. that construct myself that is in the self but can be also in you mm -hmm. it's like uh, some construction of mm -hmm. the self so i'm interested in this and of course it have to be it has a relation mm -hmm. with the the experience that i have but I'll, but also it can have a relation with the historical mo moment mm -hmm. with uh, also with um, education what you were yeah. saying right yeah like because sometimes yeah. like education in, in a sense that it can be like traditional that it's expected from the artist to go through yeah. all the drawing and painting and all of the traditional yeah. materials but in, then like yeah. in, in this sense i think that i my education in art was in a very conceptual education mm -hmm. so i think that this affect me a lot so for me it's for me it's always thinking about more in a project than in a work, in a piece of art. I think more in project or in investigations. So, and also the point, the point of a start of a project sometimes is more a question, is more an idea, a reflection, uh, something that I want to know more than other things. Mm -hmm. And then, like, relation to that, what is your inspiration? What are the themes that you're interested in? Yeah. I think that I'm interested in so many things, but I think that I'm interested in understand, understand me a little more, and I understand the context a little more. And I think that this is the thing that I... I found and I want to found in my art understand me so to me it's interesting uh, things that are passing around us and is sign inside us that make us so it's something in relation with historical things but all, always the past going to the present it's also about uh, how one structure, uh, one economic structure can mm -hmm. generate uh, some ideological ideas, some psychologist patterns, so, so can generate different kind of relations between persons mm -hmm. and reality. So for me one question that is very important is how this global process is in relation with me and with you, is in relation with mm -hmm. us right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what would you say, like, who influenced you the most? Uh, I mean, it doesn't have to be one person. It yeah, can be, yeah. like, different influences or persons or artists yeah. or... I have different influence for different <laughs> points. Mm -hmm. So, in one hand, in art, for example, in the very beginning, I think that I have a very important influence about... Uh, performance mm -hmm. and especially performance woman in Latin America like Ana Mendieta for example uh, she's a Cuban but she lives in in US in the 60s 70s and 80s so his work affect me a lot because I don't know for me it's interesting how she relates with his art in and his body and in a ritual way in a directly way mm -hmm. Also, Maria Teresa in Capie, that is an artist from Colombia that also worked with the body, with uh, the ritual, with the objects. Mm -hmm. uh, this in one hand. In the other hand, uh, one filmmaker and is also a video artist that is Arun Faroki. Mm -hmm. He is from German and I think that he, he influenced me a lot. I didn't realize that uh, that until some months ago mm -hmm. and I like a lot how he go from some topic and something some topic that is specific and he start to analyze this topic analyze this topic and then start to 
connect with with this topic with a lot of things that is mm-hmm. that are passing around now right mm-hmm. now in the global in the history so for me this and also uh, some writers from Latin America Julio Cortázar mm-hmm. Borges mm-hmm. nice <laughs> great yeah, maybe we can even link to some of your yeah. inspirations. Yeah, great. Yeah, that would be amazing. Um, is, sometimes I talk a lot. No, if I talk a lot, you've got. Don't worry, <laughs> it's great. Okay. So, like, I was wanted to bring up some of the questions. For example, uh, what is your approach for developing your art career? You know, like, for example, do you. Uh, how do you find opportunities for exhibitions or how do you make contacts like do you make an open studio so that curators can come or you yeah. know like some of the ideas like how do you seek opportunities for your artwork and how do you approach the whole thing there are the first thing to me is very important to work in relation with other persons and with groups with groups and with the structures Mm -hmm. I think that this is the thing that gives me more because uh, it can be a group of artists that you work together maybe not you do art together but Mm -hmm. you met and you talk about your interesting Mm -hmm. things the the projects that you are doing because this gives you uh, give you a lot of feedbacks and mm-hmm. open your mind and at the same time make you in relation with other persons mm-hmm. and with this you, s- you create a network more mm-hmm. easy and yeah. naturally yeah, 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 how do yeah, you say yeah. natural and yeah, in a natural, natural way yes. mm-hmm. so to me it's this for example have the studio in a place that mm-hmm. other artists have the studio uh, yeah, as people you know, and for me also, the second thing that I that I say is like maybe uh, maybe try to be like honest with the connections that you make, uh, and and also for me it's important when you make a connection, make a a connection bit for the interest that you have for the topic and for the art and from the process that are you doing Mm -hmm. so for me if I ask for someone for advice Mm -hmm. is because I'm interested in this person Mm -hmm. in the things that this person do because maybe he's investigating some topic that is similar that the one that I have and I want to learn Mm -hmm. from this person from to me this is very important Mm -hmm. make connections to learn about the other and the things that are doing the others and for me this is more important that wants to generate some like uh, you know like uh, professional relations and Mm -hmm. for me this this is maybe you have to do it sometime but for me it's more uh, important a real interest in the process that are you doing and in the process mm-hmm. that are doing the others so it's like make together yeah. questions yeah. and I think that this relation is more hard and is more better than something that is only f- professional mm-hmm. yeah of course like make it more personal yeah. Yeah. yeah so I don't know I always am awake from who is doing something similar to me mm-hmm. Because we can make these questions together. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what do you think? What are the challenges that you're facing, like uh, in this process in pursuing your art career? Uh, wow. There are. The first is to generate a structure to mm-hmm. can enfocate all my time in my art mm-hmm. because, like an artist, is not always that easy. Mm-hmm. So sometimes I found uh, residents like this mm-hmm. or grants that uh, can make me work in my art for a lot of time. But sometimes it's, it's not that easy, so I have to work in, all, in other things. Yeah, yeah. And that give, takes me out a lot of energy and mm-hmm. time. So for me this is uh, always 
like a fight, trying to find the structures yeah. and make them. Mm-hmm. But I, I know I now I feel like kind of relaxed mm-hmm. in this topic because I feel that every time I can go farther, a little farther, mm-hmm. a little farther, yeah. and every time I feel better, yeah, yeah, like yeah. more safe. And maybe also a uh, creation can be a fight mm-hmm. with you also. Mm-hmm. So for me. Uh, the career have also this this contradiction between enjoy what you are doing and experimentate mm-hmm. but also this contradiction of what I'm doing this what meaning have uh, question yourself mm-hmm. so sometimes it can be the process can be stuck and it can mm-hmm. be not that uh, pleasure but it's yeah. for me it's like this tension between pleasure mm-hmm. and uncomfortable process yeah. and can you tell me more about your work like I wanted to know like uh, what does your work aim to see like, what are your goals yeah. uh, I think that uh, it depends the work and mm-hmm. it depends the process mm-hmm. that I am but I think that until now my work want to ask to do a questions Mm -hmm. like to ask why why are you the way that are you like this Mm -hmm. so I like this maybe confrontation or questions until now now I think that I'm changed Mm -hmm. a little I'm start to do other other methodologies Mm -hmm. Um, and maybe now I change the idea of what are the the global ideas that are making us the way that we are. Mm-hmm. And have you been thinking about pricing your art? How would you put prices on that? Yeah, um, that's always the yeah. hard one. <laughs> I I always call someone to help me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's true because I, I don't know how to do it. You know, like maybe I can think. Mm, like do some evaluation between the prices of the market some mm-hmm. some colleagues that I think that are in my level like mm-hmm. how they put what price they put also my trajectory also the cost that has this project mm-hmm. and sometimes uh, it has a relation of the conceptual of the project because mm-hmm. I don't know for example I have one project that I do actually time ago I do in the university so it was like five years ago that it was very simple I burn money and mm-hmm. the video was me um, burning the money mm-hmm. so when this video was to sell uh, I asked the same quantity of money that I burn because I, I want to burn again the money uh-huh. so in this case it was just for this to How continue much money was it? yeah it was like three hundred dollars oh, euros really? sorry oh, dollars really? no euros <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. So what do you think, what is your biggest motivation in life? Where do you find motivation? Um, I find motivation in... For me there are two things that are connected. One is curiosity, Mm -hmm. that maybe is more like a... I don't know if it is a value or an emotion or a feeling or... Well, yeah, curious. Mm -hmm. Uh, Curious about what... How the things are like this or mm-hmm. what will be tomorrow mm-hmm. um, the sun will go out tomorrow or not it's obvious that it will be but uh, I don't know well you never yeah. know <laughs> yeah but so yeah, I think that curiosity uh-huh. um, and also to find different ways to do things like research and exploration and yeah things. yeah yeah, it doesn't have to be like a big change of creativity, mm-hmm. but yeah, just every time go a little farther, mm-hmm. um, every time find new things, yeah. little things. And what do you think, what is the artist's role in society? Yeah, uh, I think that this question, okay, for me, is 
to the art is a tool to understand and mm -hmm. to relate with the world. Mm -hmm. So you can relate with the world with science, with uh, mm -hmm. philosophy, with uh, mathematics, and also with art. Mm -hmm. So for me, the art, the artists have a relationship uh, with uh, aesthetic, mm -hmm. but I I don't. I don't think in aesthetic like something is beautiful or ugly. Mm -hmm. I think in aesthetic uh, that is something that is in relation with the experience mm -hmm. and how and why we experience things in the way that we experience. Mm -hmm. So for me, artists work in this in this field. So I don't know if. I, uh, what what's the question? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is the artist's role in society? Okay, so I don't know exactly a uh, role in this, but yeah, yeah. is to make things that are in relation with this mm -hmm. and to yeah to explore this yeah, field yeah. of reality. Yeah, yeah. And then, what do you think? What is your professional goal as an artist? My professional goal, like an artist. Mm, maybe it's uh, have some uh, self structure to do my projects uh, just like me, you know, like I, that without uh, need a grant or without need a something, just have the structure to. I have an idea that I want to experiment and can generate this idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, great. So this is my goal. And what is your dream project? It's connected kind of to this question before. Yeah, my dream project maybe is is not something like too specific, but I imagine myself just working and do projects in relation with uh, different <laughs> persons, uh, doing investigation, research, with some autonomous autonomy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to be like an artist that are in his studio alone, painting and like this. Mm -hmm. But I have to have, I want to have autonomy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, of course. Great, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs>